Hey gang, maybe I sit down for this one. You know, on second thought, maybe I don't sit down for this one. Hey fellas, hello, greetings my hoes and homos, what does it do fellas? How are you doing today? Terribly sorry that I didn't post yesterday, but uh, I was working on another project and that's why my throat hurts. Because I was using my voice. Remember guys, not everything's a gay joke. Anyways, today we're gonna be talking about transabled people. Um, we're gonna be talking about two counts of transabled retardation. And okay, I gotta shout this guy out because I said I'd give credit to people that would give me this shit. Dr. Dr. DL Mag Andy via Discord. Thank you for sending me these uh horrendous, horrendous displays of human caricature. Um, I'm so glad to be reacting and giving my opinion and input on this for somebody's entertainment. Fun fact, I actually recorded this video about like a week and a half ago and because the lighting was so shit in the room I decided just to not edit the video and then I forgot what I said in the video So now we have completely fresh takes once again and um Norwegian man now identifies as disabled woman who uses wheelchair almost all the time. I will not respect their disability. I will, however, respect their pronouns. So therefore, I'm going to be backtracking and saying she uses a wheelchair almost all the time. Aren't I such a great ally to the cause? Because I'm making it clear through my use of preferred pronouns that I am an ally of the cause because just acceptance and support is not enough. A woman in Norway is sparking outrage on social media. She was sympathetically interviewed about her decision to begin identifying as a disabled woman. Now those pauses there were not for comedic effect, I was not mocking, and uh, I was just translating it from he to she, because they- I don't have to fucking explain this for the 50th time. I'm, I'm not transphobic. Love you guys. On October 28th, a show aired an interview with Joronde Victoria Alm, 53, an able-bodied self-identifying female, identifies as a disabled woman. In the interview, Alm stated that she always wished that she had been born a woman who was paralyzed from the waist down. Congratulations, Alm. This is where the insanity begins. This is where the poking fun begins, the harassment, the bullying. Uh, whatever you would like to call it begins because disabled people don't desire to be disabled. They weren't born with the inclination to be disabled. They weren't born in a disabled my Some were, but they didn't choose to be born with their disabled noggin. Bowl full of spaghetti up there. And actually, contrary to popular belief, no matter how much fun you see those guys having, that are, that are running around living life because, you know, they don't really have to do much. Um, I get it. Honestly, people with Down syndrome look like they have the best lives. And I mean, I'm not going to say that I wish I was Down syndrome, but I get the appeal. All right. But uh, being somebody in a wheelchair, right, uh, I think I think you see somebody else in a wheelchair just rolling around, you know, some some guys goofing, gaffing off and they're just messing with a wheelchair because, you know, it's a, a seat with wheels. Um, If they're like pretending to be disabled, right, disabled people could look at that and be like, yo, honestly, not going to lie. That seems a bit disrespectful, bruv. But then what are they going to do because they're in a wheelchair? Um. Either way, we tend to respect the people, our disabled brethren. Um, I'm a huge fan of disabled people as a retard myself. I don't think that I would ever... I wouldn't choose being disabled, right? And honestly, it kind of it kind of makes me a little bit angry, a little bit peeved off when people try to pretend to be disabled for attention because they have nothing going in their life. So, no, sorry, nothing good going in their life. So what if they had something bad going in their life? You know, you get uh, good things going in your life, you have a good life. If bad things going in your life, people feel sorry for you. Um, I think a lot of people do this for attention. I don't think it's a stretch to say that uh, Mrs. Alm is doing this for attention. Because, I mean, like, what's really stopping her from going around, rolling around in her little fucking wheelchair? Uh, or, like, going into public and going into wheelchair? Nobody would really question it, right? But because this experience, this um, so-called transabled experience got onto the internet, you know, outside of the personal life, right? Um, people are having a little bit of an issue with it, and I see why. As previously stated, I'm uh, retarded. And when I say that, that's not meaning that I think I'm stupid or I'm being ableist. I'm quite literally on the spectrum. I would never choose this. I did not ask to be diagnosed with autism. Neither did anybody else who is autistic, unless they were like, you know, I really think this is, I'm autistic and this is having a negative impact on my life. So they literally go and ask to be diagnosed as it. And the doctor's like, yep, 
You caught that one there, buddy. Good job. It's a good, smart idea coming here. Not that an autism diagnosis really does anything for anybody that I know of, at least. It hasn't helped me. At least it's caught quite honestly held me back in certain aspects of life, which is why I say that uh, I don't think anybody would choose to be diagnosed with autism. However, in recent times, culture, uh, internet culture has sprung up, especially on platforms such as TikTok, where people love to be neurodivergent because that sounds so quirky and gay. And they go and they're like, oh, Oh, I'm I'm stimming. I'm so quirky. I'm so I'm so fucking autistic, retarded. You look at these people and people with autism. They they look at these people and they're like, that's like the exact opposite of autism. What the fuck are you doing? None of it is relatable except to other younger teenage people that are like, oh, I want attention too. I want attention too. Give me attention. So they go and make their own little profiles and they're like, oh, I'm neurodivergent because I associate with this quirky little thing that a TikToker did fucking who knows when. And I apologize. I'm a little bit geeked off the leaf right now. Honestly, if I stick here, I sit here and I'm like, hey guys, would you like a performance? Is this going to be a video where I talk about something entirely interesting, right? Because I can, I just noticed that I was, um, I forgot to do this thing that we called an... <sighs> So fucking cringe, dude. It's gotten to the point where these TikTokers, they go on there and they're like, oh, I have autism. I am so quirky. I'm neurodivergent. It's gotten to the point where nobody, like people with common sense that have autism, they see this and they don't even want to associate with it anymore because you try to explain your, um, what you go through. And then it seems as if you're trying to be like one of these TikTok attention seekers. And you're like, oh, today I'm going to explain my little quirks so you can give me likes and sympathy, even though I've actually never been to a doctor ever. But what I was going to say is there's this thing called masking and it's basically where I come up here and I put on a front, right? I stare you in the eye beautifully and I tell you, hey, today we're going to be talking about transabled people and instead of just standing around awkwardly fidgeting. Like I was, I didn't even notice this, but then I looked at the camera and I was just like, dude, I don't even know how to put. It just feels normal to me to, to fucking do that stuff that you saw me doing and like, I'm assuming the first half of the video. And oh boy, I've lost the point. I think it was that people who have a struggle when they see somebody try to replicate it for the sole intent of telling people that they have a struggle, uh, it kind of, it doesn't sit very well. It fucking sucks. It just completely, especially because these things are so viral, it completely breaks down any progress you've made towards awareness or acceptance for a certain thing. Uh, it, it just completely demolishes all of that because now everybody sees um, autism as a quirky TikTok trend and they don't even fucking portray it right. It's so, it's so retarded, dude which isn't even the subject of the video, but transabled people. Sorry for the little uh, rant bit. I'm sure you're here for uh, Miss Alm. And um, you know what? We're just going to be talking about Miss Alm today. I'm going to turn the other one into its own video so then I can milk more views. Uh, subscribe for that. Aha. Don't Despite having no physical handicaps, Alm currently utilizes a wheelchair, quote, almost all the time. Now, I think Miss Alm's full of sh if I saw this bitch ass rolling down the sidewalk, I'd just kick over her wheelchair, move it like five feet away, ten feet away. I wonder how long it'll take you to, 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 fucking, to fucking crack, to be like, you know what, I'm gonna use my legs. I'm actually not disabled. I don't need this fucking thing. I'm gonna use my legs to go and get my silly little fucking wheelchair back. Or maybe, maybe she'd try crawling over to it. That's when you just keep on pushing it away, pushing it away, until they're fi finally forced to use the fucking legs, stupid fucking frauds miss alm piece of shit hope you end up like grandma casually just rolling into traffic <laughs> no actually i don't wish I, w I don't wish death upon anybody this seems like a silly three quarters life crisis i think you need to establish some new relationships some real relationships in your real life go back outside probably been a while since you've really done anything. I'm assuming that uh, you got this idea from the internet. What conscious decision do you have to make in your mind to be like, uh, I, I really I would, I really wish I was paralyzed. I wish I could go out and just roll around in a wheelchair. W where do you get to the point where this is like such a fetishized idea in your brain that you actually go out and do it and then do it in front of other people? Like I would believe, I, I find it more likely to believe that Miss Ulm has a humiliation fetish than they actually want to like roll around in a fucking wheelchair. Because they do state further in this article, when the question or whether or not she was acting on the impulse to live out a sexual fetish, Alm replied, I don't know. 
maybe and i think i've got it cracked down honestly i didn't think about that until i started recording i think it is a humiliation fetish who fucking goes on the internet or like in public goes to places where they get attention like tv interviews and uh news articles and is just like yeah I'm a, I'm an able-bodied person and I just, I, uh, I want to be disabled so bad that I role play as it in public, in front of you, mocking you and all of your disabled relatives. Get fucked, idiot. Of course people are going to humiliate you. Like in mass numbers and, oh, and I'm participating. Fuck. Well. Now I don't want to talk about it. And you know what the good thing is? I think I have enough video to make a video here. So, yeah. Uh. Okay. Do I even want to post this? Who knows? Who knows? But, um, it's been like a whole day. Almost two. Parasocial best friend. Hi, it's good to see you again. Thanks for coming to this video. It's always good to, um, give you my thoughts. If it's your first time here, and it's your first time meeting me. No, it's not. We've known each other for so long you know the rules and so do i i've got no commitments that i'm thinking of you wouldn't get this from any other guy i just want to tell you how i'm feeling gotta make you understand never gonna give you up never gonna let you down never gonna run around and desert you never gonna make you cry never gonna say goodbye never gonna tell a lie and hurt 